Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, in this video, I am going to be introducing a new project. It has been a while, uh, but just before I do so, I wanted to mention that there will be a couple shout outs at the end of the video for a couple Kickstarters, which I think might be worth your attention. So um, stick around to the end of that, end of that, well, because it's kind of going to be a two parter. So I think this is a two parter. Anyway, stick around to the end of this video, whatever it becomes, and um, check out those uh, shout outs. Uh, and let's move on with the project. So this is for an Orc Fantasy Display Board, GW Orcs. And I've had this display board in my mind for quite some time. This project has been in the queue. And I came up with all sorts of ideas of what I wanted to integrate into it. And once I started laying out the uh, board in sort of uh, drafting, you know, the ideas, I realized that I've put a lot into it maybe too much and uh, certainly some things need to be modified. So what I thought I would do before we actually take a look at the drafts is just give you a quick summary of some of the uh, ideas that I wanted to include and things that I've been thinking about. Um, first, I wanted to include um, a couple huts, a couple orc huts on there to give it a little bit of a, of a setting. I wanted to um, do a swamp theme which will match the uh, client's uh, miniatures bases and overall theme. I wanted to have a large tree in the uh, board which would be a wire armature tree so I really want to get into uh, improved tree work and so this makes a good opportunity to do that since it's you know would have a like a focal point tree if you will to set it off. We'll talk about that in the draft. Um, and there are arachnid arachnids there are arachnids there are there are arachna rocks and they are spider riders uh, and uh, i wanted to uh, capture some of that feel maybe with some webbing in the trees maybe some spiderlings crawling around uh, the area uh, i also wanted to include a cave in the back that would be uh, sort of suggestive of where the arachna rocks are emerging onto the board and I wanted to have the frame for the display board uh, pretty deep in terms of thickness so that I could put viewing ports in it to look at the areas underwater beneath the murky swamp uh, to uh, give another depth, another uniqueness to the board. We'll talk about that more in a second. And um, I also had thought about some lighting. So lots of things to include in this uh, project and let's take a look at the drafts before I go on too much further and show you how those ideas have been coming together and some of the considerations I've had. So after the ocean board project my new mantra is plan 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 <laughs> and so what I did is um, I took the information from the client he gave me the uh, unit list um, savage orcs, ragnaroks, um, spider riders and their basic footprint. And I just sort of roughed in everything, thinking about what I wanted to include. Uh, the cave, um, a little uh, cliff here where the boss hut would be, um, some troop huts here, uh, the idol, and um, of course some uh, swamp. And I was thinking of having the swamp like this, kind of a little bit bigger, maybe having a dock coming out over it into the open water with a raft. I was just throwing some ideas around. But right away, I see some major problems with this. Um, this is far too uh, much water. It's out of balance. Everything is pushed so far back on the board. This is all dead space. It's not going to look very good. So let's do the second version. And when I redrafted it, I decided to um, pair up the Arachna Rock and the Spider Riders. I thought that might be nice. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the units themselves and their arrangement towards the end of this uh, um, explanation here of my thinking. Um, so just roll with that for a second. Um, made this uh, cliff seven inches, right? So here's my five inch high uh, cave, thinking that that would be sort of the uh, height that would make uh, an arachnorock coming out of there a little more plausible. Um, I thought I'd take the mangler squigs and have them spilling down a slope in their sort of wacky, tumultuous way. Uh, and then I started blocking in some heights of these things, a little bit more defined, right? Six inches for the idol, ten for the tree. Um, 
over here, seven inches for this cliff, um, 10 inches combined. I'm thinking the lobbers are maybe three inches tall. And um, then over here, five for the cliff, um, maybe, um, uh, oh, I was thinking three for the cliff. I think I upped that in the next uh, iteration here. Uh, and then um, two inches high for the hut, right? Giving me a five inch total. And um, then again, let's um, start thinking about their arrangement. And I started thinking about the um, lines of sight and I didn't re recognize it initially. But once I started looking at the way things were facing, I realized that um, I should work with that where units are, are facing, you know, sort of along the same lines or they're lined up along the same lines. So we get these nice leading lines when you look at the board and the way it's all arranged. Once I did this, and you can see here, I want to pull all of this forward and uh, shrink this up. But at this point, I decided I really um, need to revise this uh, one more time here. So what I did is I redrafted it trying to balance it a little bit more, right? Shrink the swamp, drop the dock and all the raft and all of that. Um, more clearly outline the actual footprints of the individual pieces. Um, thinking about once I set this up, thinking this isn't really right. And I identified some of these problems when I did a profile drawing of this, thinking if I'm gonna look at it this way, how do all these heights work? So we're gonna come back to this in a second. And I felt like there was some improper balancing going on in the way the visual impact of all of the units and, and sort of terrain elements were coming together. But before I changed anything, I just wanted to do a quick profile and um, map out, you know, so the Arachnorox, I'm thinking they're about five inches high with the Hauda. These are just rough scratches in, right? Um, here's the um, cave thinking again, five inches, plus I need two to make it look like it's realistic. Uh, the fit maybe an Arachnorox coming out of it. Um, what are the, um, you know, units that are in front look like? And what I did is I shaded each of these layers darker and darker so that they, you know, can be easily, more easily seen um, reseeding into the background, right? So the boss's hut is uh, much darker, for instance, and so is the tree. Um, don't look at this tree though. I just scratched it in and realized, oh, there's all sorts of things wrong with that general look. But that's not really the important part here. I was thinking of having some steps come down the cliff. Um, here's the troop hut and the savage orcs. And this is looking at edge on exactly as this is, right? So I'm looking just like this. Here's the outside of the savage orcs. Ragnarok is hidden behind them. All right, here's the edge like that. When I looked at the profile and, I'll just do this like this for a second and this overall layout, I realized it's far, far too heavy on this side. There's too much going on over here, too many big things, the hut, the, uh, the tree, the Ragnarok, the idol, everything weighs this way. So I started trying to think about how I could balance that a little bit more. And if I um, pull the idol forward and move the Ragnarok over here and, and pull the Savage Orcs back, one of the things that also allows me to do is also um, fix this swamp idea here. It's, it's still, this is a huge empty area on the board. Um, it's, it looks unbalanced even like this. So let's set all of that aside and do um, another drawing that reflects um, some of the changes that I show here. So here you can see um, the, at this point, the final iteration of the layout. And one of the things I did was you know, bring this forward, crop this off, um, balance the swamp areas. Um, and I, I don't really like symmetry, but I'm trying to keep this a little asymmetrical, but also feel like I can see into these areas. And we'll talk about that in a second. And then um, I've pulled the idol forward, right? And um, the arrows indicate the facings of the units, right? So I've got my, my leading sight lines here like this. And then of course for large units, right? They're aligned um, along either the sight lines, you know, like that. Um, pulled the boss's hut over a little bit and uh, you know brought these up and now it's feeling a lot more balanced. The arachnorock coming over to the middle helps 
take away from that far waiting over there. And I thought one of the other things I can do is maybe put in a small tree, some clumps of ferns, some, some height interest here to fill some of that void, as well as, you know, some bushes along the way, which are going to also fill in some of the empty areas and um, give it a little bit more of a height variation. So I did another profile drawing of this. And here you can see the, the second one compared to the first one. Is that off camera? Is that? Okay. So, um, you know, when you look at it, you can see that, you know, where it was really heavy here, pulling the, the hut over more, pulling the tree over more, the arachnorock over more, and then um, making the idol bigger and the tree shorter and lifting up the hut base more it's also balancing the heights a little bit more i want some you i you should i think want some variations right where it's going to pull the eye up but you don't want to pull it so far up that it unbalances it and you can see here this tree just dwarfs this side and there's all this negative space around it and this is not uh you know weighty enough to really complement that it's it's just it's not good. So moving this tree over, dropping it a little bit, it's now in better proportion with the idol. It's a little higher than this line here, but kind of balances with these. And so I'm looking at this and feeling much, much better about the overall layout and uh, distribution. And here, you know, this is sort of going to represent the, um, the, the peepholes, if you will, the windows into the swamp um, below. And that is an area where I'd like to have some uh, vegetation, uh, some fish swimming, uh, some kind of crazy Warhammer-esque fish, if you will. Um, still have some steps coming down uh, from the hut where um, the uh, bosses uh, can, can move down. And this feels good. However, <laughs> there are some things that uh, need strong consideration.